Cracking the code of mixed word problems. Hello, English learners and test takers. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of mixed word problems for the GMAT and GRE. These problems can often seem complex, but once you break them down, they're quite manageable. By the end of this video, you should feel confident in tackling even the trickiest word problems. Remember, practice makes perfect. Mixed word problems are mathematical questions that combine multiple concepts within a single problem. Unlike straightforward problems where you might simply be asked to calculate interest, for example, mixed problems might have you combine interest with area calculations or percentages with algebra. They are designed to test your ability to switch between different mathematical concepts fluidly. Before solving any problem, it's crucial to identify which math concepts are being tested. As you read through the problem, highlight or underline key terms that indicate certain mathematical operations or concepts. For instance, total, or altogether, hints at addition. Difference, suggests subtraction, of, can often indicate multiplication, especially in percentage problems. By recognizing these terms, you can get a clearer idea of what steps you might need to take to solve the problem. One of the most common mistakes test takers make is trying to solve the problem all at once. Instead, break it down step by step. 1. Understand what's being asked. 2. Identify the information given. 3. Establish a plan to connect the given information to the solution. 4. Execute your plan. 5. Review your answer to ensure it makes sense in the context of the problem. Let's try a sample problem together. Sarah bought three shirts and two pants. Each shirt costs $20 and each pant costs $30. How much did she spend in total? 1. Understand, we need to find the total amount spent. 2. Identify. 3. Three shirts at $20 each. 4. Two pants at $30 each. 5. Establish a plan. Multiply the number of each item by its price and then sum those amounts. 6. Execute. 7. Shirts. 3 times $20 equals $60. 8. Pants. 2 times $30 equals $60. 9. Total. $60 plus $60 equals $120. 10. Review. Sarah spent $120 in total. Tackling mixed word problems can be a breeze with the right approach. The key is to break the problem down identify the concepts involved, and practice, practice, practice. We hope this video has shed light on the process of solving these challenging questions. Good luck on your GMAT and GRE, and keep practicing.